Hello guys, uh, I hope you're all doing well and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can build a gaming PC for under $2. Now this might sound a bit crazy at first because you can't build a gaming PC for under $2, I messed that up. <clears throat> in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build a gaming PC for under $200. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so while I'm doing this, keep in mind that our um, budget is $200, so don't get too mad at me if I miss stuff like, oh, you could have bought a 2080 Ti, but you didn't. Yeah, well, it's a $200 budget. Um, I might have been able to squeeze that in if I uh, went into the negatives, but I, I couldn't do that, unfortunately. Um, so, uh, let's just dive straight into it. So. Um, first stop we have AMD Athlon 3000G 2 core 4 thread unlocked desktop processor with Radeon graphics. So yeah, it comes with Radeon Bay graphics and it is super, super old, um, but it, it serves its purpose. I mean, it's a CPU, it has integrated graphics, so that makes it an APU, I suppose. And it comes with a stock cooler, so let's take a closer look at it. So you can see um, it comes with a... Uh, yeah, it says uh, AMD uh, Radeon Vega Graphics. So it is an APU. It comes with its um, Wraith Stealth cooler or whatever it is. Um, it has, it's a cutting edge, apparently, Zen processor. Um, and you can, um, it says, yeah, um, 720p, um, probably, I don't know, 60 FPS, but that depends on the game, obviously. Um, so if you have like, if you're running like, I don't know, something like Doom or something, or something that's super demanding, you're probably gonna skip frames, have like a bunch of stuff that you don't want, but it is a $200 gaming PC, so, um, keeping that in mind, 720p sounds pretty good at this point. Um, so that's about it for the, um, CPU. Um, and oh yeah, of course, the reason I chose it. Well, it's three parts for 57, under $57. I mean, you really can't beat that. Um, and it, oh yeah, it can also be overclocked to four, four gigahertz, um, with its stock cooler. So that's actually, uh, pretty good for, for someone who wants to overclock, obviously. Now, moving into the motherboard, we have a Gigabyte GAA320M S2H AM4 socket motherboard. So, um, I do not recommend whatsoever an A-series motherboard for any normal use. I would recommend at least a B350 motherboard or even a B450 motherboard, um, which, which is much better. Um, I mean, the A320 sounds like the Airbus A320. So, I mean, I mean, like, uh, okay, whatever. It, serve its, it serves its purpose. Um, it's a number one bestseller, so you have to get it, apparently. Um, so, let's take a closer look at it. Um, the greatest thing about this is that it has M.2 NVMe support. Um, so, down the line, if you plan to upgrade, in this rig, we don't have an M.2 um, in this build, but... Um, you know, if you plan to upgrade down the line, this is actually really good for you. Um, it has two DIMM slots, which is more than enough for this build because we're running single channel for this build. Um, there's not many bells and whistles for it. It has PCIe Gen 3 support. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it has the basic connectors. It doesn't look the prettiest, but again, it is $57. Um, or sorry, $55. And taking a look at the rear I.O., um, nothing fancy here. We have four USB Type A um, Type A plugins um, and one HDMI, and um, it's I think two 2.0 or Gen 2s and two three th Gen 3s, and um, one Ethernet cable, um, two I think USB 2s, um, and some audio outputs and some peripherals, and I think that's a DP port? I'm not even sure. Um, but it serves its purpose. It's good enough for our build, micro ATX, um, all that good stuff. And it will be able to support, obviously, um, dual channel. So, moving into, <coughs> excuse me, 
and to the power supply. I actually managed to find a 450 watt ATX power supply um, and taking a closer look at it you can see that it is not 80 plus white or it doesn't even have an 80 plus um, certified thing. Imagine if this thing was actually 80 plus titanium or something like that <laughs> um, for $24. Um, as you can see, it's semi-modular, at least that's what the picture says. Listen to the picture. Um, and nothing fancy here, just, just what it comes with. Um, it's actually pretty good that it comes semi-modular, although very, very ugly ketchup and mustard cables. This, I mean, it's not even tidied up with like a sleeve connector or anything. It's just, it's just the basic bare minimum, um, that hopefully wouldn't crash on you or blow up or anything as it, again it's it's not an 80 plus white um, certified at least but it's gonna do the job um, I, I was just kidding about the blowing up part it really shouldn't do that it shouldn't be on the market if it does um, on that note let's move into the RAM first thing you're gonna notice about this it's really 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 ugly and it's single channel, 4 gigabytes, DDR4, 2,666 megahertz. Um, the thing about this is um, the CPU, the Athlon 3000G, will benefit um, from t um, 2,666 megahertz. Um, more than this, it, I've done some research and it won't benefit much. Um, but this is the max that you can go and it will benefit. And as you can see, it's $16. Um, it's made by some weird company that we don't even know about and uh, oh sorry about that phone going off um, and what else about it oh yeah it's super ugly did I mention that and uh, no heat spreaders it doesn't look the greatest it's completely exposed anyway enough about that super depressing don't don't uh, don't do that for any normal build but for 16 bucks you gotta do what you gotta do now if that was depressing it's nothing compared to this guy right here I mean I don't even know uh, I mean it's it's some other language. I don't, I don't know how to read that. Um, so it does have more than one picture. Uh, that's always a good sign on Amazon. Um, it, has, it has a power switch. It has some USB type A connectors, probably like Gen 1 or something weird like that. Um, it has, well, nothing fancy at all. It supports up to three fans, uh, micro ATX, um, what else? Um, nothing special. Cable management gonna look very ugly once you mount everything. It doesn't come with its own standoffs for the motherboard. Um, you're gonna have to figure that out. Oh wait, actually it does. Oh, it does come up, come with standoffs for the motherboard. Um, but that main standoff that, um, in the middle, you know that standoff that comes in the middle? That's not there. Um, but once you mount everything, the airflow is actually looking pretty good. Um, you have four um, expansion slots, pretty good, pretty good, um, for 25 bucks. Although, guys, I do recommend uh, amping it up to uh, a $40 case that I found because this has $40 for shipping. So I would definitely not recommend buying this um, if you live in the U.S. and it costs this much for shipping. I would just pay $40 for a better case. Um, I will have a b-roll of that um, on screen okay now that all being said we need a hard drive and I could not manage to fit an SSD into this rig um, if you're gonna be doing GeForce now which is that um, game streaming thing that Nvidia released um, I would recommend a 128 gigabyte SSD or yeah gigabyte SSD um, I'll have a shot of that on screen here um, and it's actually pretty good for some 20 bucks or something um, but that's assuming that you're doing uh, stream you're gonna be streaming gaming um, you're, wait you're streaming games um, um, but since we're not streaming games since we're uh, since we're actually gonna be, uh, storing games on a hard drive here I have a Seagate pipeline hard drive 500 gigabyte um, SATA, 3 gigabytes per second, 3.5 inch internal desktop hard drive, that is a mouthful. Um, it doesn't look the greatest, I mean it has completely exposed stuff, um, but 
it's going to do the job. It's 500 gigabytes. It's going to be enough to store quite a few games. Um, it's not a terabyte, but terabytes cost a lot, and this is 20, $21. Uh, pretty good deal for that. Um, so exiting out of that, we're actually done with our build. Although, guys, I would recommend amping your build up a little bit. Um, to maybe adding maybe an NVMe SSD 128 for the, your OS um, and then adding like the this hard drive um, so it's gonna amp up the cost by like $50 if you choose a really cheap NVMe um, and I would also recommend choosing a better power supply like at least 80 plus white um, you're probably gonna find some around 40 bucks but then again, that wouldn't be an under $200 gaming PC, as this one is, with our A320 uh, Airbus plane here. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a fun little thing, um, a little depressing at times, um, looking for such cheap parts. But with that, I think we can end this video. Uh, if you have any comments to improve this build, uh, feel free to add a really ugly 64 gigabyte NVMe SSD or something. I don't know um, for the OS or whatever. F feel free to add that kind of stuff in. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Feel free to toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, hope you all take care. See ya.